This is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be answering another question from the peanut gallery. How often should you be training? Complex answer. Depends on like what your job is. Not so complex answer. Five days a week. We in the Western world tend not to have super physical jobs anymore. If you are a carpenter or a roofer or bale hay for a living, right? And you're doing a lot of active heavy stuff all day, then you need to work out much less, right? Then you could easily get away with 10 minutes of mobility training and 10 minutes of kettlebell work or club bell work a day, five days a week. That'd be more than enough, right? Because you're still doing things with your body the way it was designed to be used. Problem is, basically none of us do that. I live in Los Angeles. We don't pick up heavy shit and carry it around. We just don't. We go to our car, we drive places, we drive back, we get out of our car, we maybe carry groceries in the house. So we need to work out a lot more. We should be working out probably a minimum of five days a week if you're an average American for at least an hour. You start at the beginning of the hour, you should do 10 minute mobility warm up. You're gonna do get your heart rate up for a little bit. Mobility warm up, heart rate, these are second separate phases, right? So 10 minutes of mobility, then there's going to be 10 minutes of getting the body and the heart rate up and skill development work. And then you're going to be doing probably 20 minutes of uh, interval high heart rate training. And then at the end of that, you're going to have a cool down session where you re-lengthen all your muscles so you don't become shaped like your exercise or like the inside of your car. We want you to be training at least five days a week. Everybody's gonna tell me that that's impossible. It's hard, you're gonna have to figure it out, but you're gonna have to do it. Uh, this has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica. Train more, learn a real skill.